Hi, welcome to my channel about embedded systems, physics techniek and robotics. This video is focused on my um, robotic arm with pneumatic hand. And last time I introduced um, a new sensor right here. Um, put a signal wire externally uh, to the controller and I announced that I therefore had to um, redo the code. But um, with prepa while preparing my um, current video, this one, I also noticed that the image taken by this camera is not quite as it should. So I will have to construct a second video support, camera support. But most of all, and most important, I have to uh, rearrange this and then see if everything works out. So uh, while I checked using the diagnostics uh, that everything is in working order, I will still have to program it. So that is the focus right now. And what I will start with is um, reroute or reroute, whatever you pronounce it, this cable or this wire through the arm uh, alongside with all the other uh, signal wires. So let's start with that. So one uh, reroute of wiring complete and now the second thing, um, a second camera stand. So right here to support the camera. So let's uh, do that. And with uh, this construction it is now time to move on and see how this can be um, changed into just a pulling wire, pulling or releasing, but without the timing. And then I have to introduce um, the, the, this wire and then of course the opposite side on the controller into, um, into the Python software. Um, to make it all happen, because that is what this is about. And of course see how this camera view is uh, on the computer. So I go to the screencast. So after the reroute of the wire, I have to first test it yet. So I am going to select one of the interfaces. Let me check this one. And then I have to see for that this one is being activated. It is. That means that I have selected the correct interface and it still works out. That's a good thing. Then, next phase. Let me do it like this. Um, also, the uh, drawings here, uh, this extension, I4 is yet to be um, populated, let's say that. So what I need to do now is actually remove this one. So although I have now um, relocated also the code where the sleeping time is uh, coordinated for the hand pitch, I realize by reading this part that I've actually put the um, wiring wrong because I've put the wiring in the interface, in the extension of the interface 1 while this indicates that it is in interface 2, where the rest is. So, to keep things organized, 
and everything together and because this is actually the hand pitch it should be on the second interface so let me first uh, put everything there including the schematics so it will be here instead of so now it's here and it will have to go here and that of course the wiring itself so let me do just that So this is the part of the hand pitch, clearly. This is the release part. And this is the pull part, with here is the being pulled. So here, from this point somewhere, um, this pull movement is being executed. So let me put the camera again here and then this is the motor in, uh, in question pulling and that's interface 2. So from with this code I'll have to change. So now I have added it to the code. Um, however, there's another thing. How do I know that the switch is actually being activated without stopping? Um, how do I know that it actually goes through all 40, 415 lines of code? Does it ever reach this uh, point? And I was thinking in one of my uh, other projects the roller track uh, series um, I used an LED to visibly signal that something was going on so I could actually put here an LED to show that it actually is being activated and I can use a visiting one or a real one the real one has to be, well, Fisting Week 1 is a real one, but has to be uh, equipped with an uh, additional resistor, which the Fisting Week 1 doesn't. On the other hand, um, it takes more space to use a Fisting Week 1, so let me check if I actually, um, what I actually can do. But it seems like a good idea to me. So let me figure out one out. And for now I have decided to go with a Fisher Technic LED so and some wiring. So I'll uh, put the LED here and have to reroute the wiring via the LED. So let's do so. And that doesn't clearly go as intended. Uh, the signal coming through, no doubt, but somehow the LED doesn't show anything, so I will have to check the LED to be uh, operational or whatever is going wrong. Because an LED is it. It is. I'll have to uh, put a power supply and check it. Alright, so um, all I need is this Acupack and the uh, LED in question. So connecting wires and then wires should actually stay in place. But maybe it just goes like this and you can see that it, there's nothing wrong with the LED. So there's something else going on in the signaling. And, oh, I guess I know what, uh, if I run the program, then it will show up, then it will work out. Uh, or the diagnostic interface, 
um, run everything and then hopefully it turns out but I already engaged for the second interface which is active in the diagnostics interface right now so with input 3 being activated the LED should be activated so what's wrong there? that's a fair question ok now I have tested this LED which is proven to work and this resistor right here and the weird thing is that it doesn't function while on the battery pack it does so conclusion is that while this is clearly working if you look at input 3 then there is something wrong with the voltage and I measured it and it's actually um, on my multimeter showing um, negative which is a weird in itself so um, how this is going to work out um, I'll have to uh, postpone to next time because this is taking too long for this video right now so what I've accomplished is um, a non-tested code um, this camera and some LED which is proven to work but is not working somehow and that's well more next time and with this end result I say thank you for watching um, if you like this video please do subscribe to my channel give the video a thumbs up click the bell for notification um, leave a comment or suggestion also you can follow me via Twitter or Instagram and um, you can support via PayPal, Ko-fi and bec by becoming a patron for as little as 2 euros or 2 dollars a month please take a look at my website for other projects this is obviously going to be continued so for now um, stay safe, have a great day, take care, bye